We are Onyx Imaging. We are the highest rated and most reviewed printer service center in Oklahoma. Hi, my name is John with Onyx Imaging. Today we're going to be taking a look at HP OfficeJet Pro 7740 printer. It's a wide format inkjet printer. We're going to do an unboxing and also show you the initial setup of the machine. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm actually going to, have to put it down on the ground and get it all unboxed here. Alright, so open up the box. First thing I have on the inside of the box is a starter set of ink cartridges. They also give you a fax cable and a power cable. And they do also send you an installation disc. Most of the time you don't need it, but in case you do, there is one available. I'm going to remove the styrofoam. To get the printer out of the box, the best way to do it is the bag actually has a set of handles. So you're going to grab the handles and pull straight up out of the box. And take the bag or the printer out of the bag. And before we get started, the blue tape that's on the machine in order to to kind of keep it safe during shipping, we're going to have to take off a good chunk of that just to make sure that we can actually do everything we need to for as far as the original or the beginning setup of the machine. So, let's take all this off and make sure we have our paper drawers ready. And then we'll remove our paper drawers. And it's pretty common to find tape and usually like a piece of cardboard kind of blocking the inside of it, making sure that it doesn't get messed up during shipping. We'll get all that taken out. And then you want to make sure that while you have it out, you have all the settings on this ready for whatever paper size you're going to use. In our case, we're going to be using 8.5 by 11. So we'll make sure all of our settings are on 8.5 by 11, which looks like they are. We'll reinstall that one. Do the same thing for the second paper drawer. And again, make sure all your settings are set for 8.5 by 11, or again, for whatever paper size you're using in that particular tray. We'll reinstall that. Now we're going to go ahead and get her plugged in. Onto our power cord here. Get it plugged in. And the plug is, it goes on the back left side of the printer. And then it'll take a second for us to let it power on. There it goes. And we'll let it start up. And for the most part, we're basically going to follow the on screen instructions. And while it's booting up, we'll go and unwrap our ink. And we keep taking off the rest of the blue tape. And if you lift the top, there will also be a protective liner for your scanner. You can go ahead and remove that now as well. So we're going to select English, confirm, we're in the U.S., confirm. It's going to ask you for the date and time. You can set it for whatever time zone and everything you're in and hit continue setup. Now it's going to ask to install the ink. So install the ink. We're just going to flip down the front face of it. 
There you'll see the print head. We'll start with the black ink. And you're just going to slide it in the slot. And make sure it clicks into place. And each individual color is actually color coded, so it's hard to put the cartridges in the wrong spot. So it goes yellow, magenta, and then cyan. And if you're not sure if you push the cartridge all the way in or not, just give it a light tug just to make sure that they're fully seated and they don't come back out. Once they're all installed, we're going to close that front cover. Now the printer's going to ask you to install or add paper. Which if you have some available, it's just fine. If not, you can proceed a little bit further without it. So we're just going to follow the on-screen instructions and sometimes with the ink machines it takes them a second to kind of get going. I just got to pull all the ink through the machine and kind of get set up and ready. So it's going to ask if you want to do your alignment. Like I said, because I don't have any paper in it right now, we can do follow that step later. But as far as it's the rest of your setup, it's going to ask if you want to connect to the internet or not. Right now, it's not. I'm not worried about that. So we're just going to skip that and connect and hit connect later. And then it's going to ask you about firmware updates. And for the most part, we recommend to select the option that says "Do not check." And the reason I recommend do not uh, do not check on your firmware automatic firmware updates. It's because most of the time, if the, unless the printer is having problems that's being caused by the current firmware on the printer, there's no need to update it. Most of, And there's a lot of the times that when you do the firmware update, if anything goes wrong, then it can actually cause more problems with the printer than you had in the first place. So just to try to avoid all those problems, unless you absolutely need to, I usually leave the firmware alone. So in this case, we're going to want to make sure we have do not update or do not check selected for all your automatic updates. And then we're just going to hit continue and we are all ready to go. So just like that, we're up and printing. Again, if you have any problems or concerns, feel free to give us a call. Other than that, you should be good to go. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in how you can receive free labor on all of your service calls, as well as how to qualify for free printer upgrades, contact us today. We are here for all of your printer and office supply needs.